Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Welcome back to today's podcast. Today, I think I have Cal Freezy. Detective. Detective Freezy. Cal Freezy. Here we go. That colour's not really. It's washing you out. What do you mean by that? It's washing you out. You blend in okay. with your surroundings. <laughs> Yeah, no, fair enough. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> when you asked me to uh, to come on the podcast, yeah. when you wrote to me. <laughs> yeah, fan. Um, I I thought, you know what? This podcast uh, is getting a bit samey. Yeah, yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's Same. My uh, and one of, the, one of the biggest bits of feedback that, that I saw as a fan of this podcast. Literally my manager. Was that um, you never seem to answer the questions that you ask no, your guests. No, we're not doing this. So we, uh, we <laughs> me and the team back at the office, <laughs> yeah. we, uh, we put together some questions that we thought okay, nice. um, would only be fair that it appears the guests never got a chance to ask you yeah. the questions that you asked them. This is a setup. So... I'm doing this for the for the saving grace. Thank you. It's all vodka. alcoholic. Yeah, I imagine. Well, is it? No, it's water. It's actually, water. I'm very stressed out now. You've come on there. Look, I'm shaking. You, you know, one, one, one of the one, one of the biggest things that Grace tends to walk away from a podcast saying is the guests never drink. <laughs> Yeah. They're all boring bastards. Uh, no, you, you, to be fair, I have said that. Yeah. I have said that. Yeah. And, and, and here you are with a glass of water. I'd also like to just point out that it was, I got here at 10 a.m. Actually, it's now almost midday. <laughs> yeah. Could, can we please yeah, get a notification? Can we please get a notification once it does turn 12? Um, and that will signal okay. an appropriate the time start. to engage in alcoholic Fine. behavior okay. uh, but let, let's you know it's, it's you know this is your podcast yeah. but it's important that people <laughs> know more about you yeah so i've i've got a big list here and i thought we, we'd get started obviously your your first podcast was with uh max belegne <laughs> yeah uh and you you asked him some very personal questions i actually. did i like to dig deep have you ever been dogging um what like classes is dogging? Like I've never been out of a car. Oh, no, dogging, dogging. Dog, like, it, that's got to be an outdoor. Wind beneath my really? purse. Like it's always between been the sails. in a car. Yes, between yeah. my sails. Absolutely. So you've so you've never really been dogging, no. but, but you are a uh, a car sex enthusiast. No, only when I was younger. How young? Well, old enough to drive a car, right. so maybe like 18. Well, that's the thing. Sometimes, were you always the driver in this scenario? Yeah. Yeah. Really? No. 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 And, and was it a Corsa? No, what I've never shagged in a Corsa. A Seat Leon, I think, <laughs> and a Mazda 2. That's my a car. Mazda 2. <laughs> yeah. I can picture the guy already. Yeah, <laughs> it's my car. It's your car. I definitely can picture the guy <laughs> yeah. already. Okay. Um... Who is the most famous person that you've ever had in your DMs? <laughs> um, well, to be fair, Tom Zanetti said, come to the dollhouse. Tom once, Zanetti it was, is I don't the think most it was famous right. person <laughs> yeah. in your DMs. Yeah, the bar is on the floor. Um, you know, he does good tunes. You want me. Go on. I don't know that one. You want me. Okay, then. What should I say then? If you like champagne, swing my way then. <laughs> <laughs> right so tom's what, what did he say in in your dms he just i can't remember but he was like because it was on my old account rp and he was like oh something about going to the dollhouse and i was like yeah and then i never went to the dollhouse because it's in manchester what is the dollhouse it's his club it's, oh it's his club his club oh okay yeah. a successful businessman yeah. are you attracted to money no actually and is that why you're with billy no <laughs> No, he does earn money. No, money. Oh, he earns money. <laughs> he gets that bread. No, he is actually, he's a, he's a, he's a finance bro. He, yeah. Do you talk about Billy much? Well, I have done. Yeah. I've dipped my toes in. In what, in what sense? Pies. I've said him. I don't know what I'm talking I'm panicking. You are. You're, ve you're breathing <laughs> yeah. very heavy into that mic right now, Grace. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I've spoken about him. Yeah. How'd you meet him? How'd you meet yours? 
My girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, I met her at a party. It's oh, so nice did time. I. Oh, yeah. What party was your party? Joe was it and George Bags's? Was... Oh, was it? It was. And from my understanding and from my research, actually just on page three. We didn't here, sleep with each other. On the first night, the you first didn't sleep. But it is, it is George's friend. Am I right in saying that? Joe's friend. Joe's friend. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Get your facts right. Yeah. No, I'll be yeah. having words in my research on that. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's that's very cute Thank and how you. long have you been together for <laughs> five months five months see in Ooh. my head it feels like you guys have been together for ages i agree would you say still say you're in the honeymoon period i think so yeah yeah do you plan on Should moving in worried what well, yeah one day i basically already have to be fair i'm always around really? the house yeah see i think that's a bit too quick okay sorry yeah just you know i i i think that the the rule tends to be about a year you, you date a someone year. for a year you date someone for a year and then at that point you go right we can move in yeah okay fine yeah yeah would you move in with him would you if he if he, if he went to you now like grace let, let's get a flat together now right. what would you say yeah fuck it really yeah i'm See, spontaneous <laughs> spontaneous yeah M yeah no, <laughs> I, I think that I think that's a sign of an imbalance in a relationship. Okay, who do you think likes each other more? I think oh, I probably like him more. I know yeah. him quite a lot. That, that that that's what yeah. moving in with someone in five months <laughs> would say to me. Do you not like Do you not like the peace, the independence? Um, yeah. When he goes for a shower, I have some peace. Or when he goes for a poo, he's in there quite well. Have you, have you, have you, when he have sleeps. you got to the point where you, can you shit in front of him? No, but I can, what I do is I fart in front of him, but I make sure it's not loud. So I spread a cheek. So it's like, pfft, so it's not like an ick. But does, does, he, <laughs> does he know? Yeah. He and knows. Guys, that's disgusting. But I used to, the whole performance you put on is just so. <laughs> <laughs> so. So you make a big deal out of it. Yeah. But all I'll tell him, I'll go, oh, I need a poo. And he'll go, okay, go for a poo then. But I'll. It's I'll like having a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll play his TikToks loud. And he'll play... Oh, okay. So he doesn't hear me yeah. said poo. Oh, okay. I think that's quite romantic. I, I think agree. to be five months in and to be at that point, mm. that's quite good. And I think yeah. the quicker you get to that point, the longer <laughs> yeah. lasting the relationship is. Right. Or, or or maybe not. It depends on how, ran, uh, how bad are your farts. I mean, I haven't killed anyone. Yeah. So I feel like that's like a good... That's a, I have mean, you, uh, Dutch bad. oven? Who? Dutch oven. What's that? Where you fart under the covers and then you... <laughs> no, but he's done that to me. Right. That's and disgusting. Is that some... Oh, okay. Disgraceful. I didn't know if it was something no, that maybe you Genuinely encourage. awful. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. It really yeah. just depends on what was for dinner. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. um, we'll continue moving okay. on. Okay. Um, <laughs> But it's important to say, because, you know, Max was a fantastic first guest. Thank you. And um, he's also, he also goes on a lot of these influencer trips, a lot like yourself. Yeah. Actually. Uh, you went on the Jack Been Wills on one. one. Yeah. Jack Wills one. Um, but there's a few happening lately. Obviously, you had the Spotify plane. Oh, yeah. I didn't, didn't go to that one. Didn't get the invite or didn't I did, go? I did. But I'm, did. I'm scared of planes. And thank God. Could you <laughs> imagine if I went on that plane, I'd be like, land it now. Yeah. Yeah. That plane was the plane from hell. Yeah. Um, have you ever hooked up with someone on an influencer trip? No. I mean, you said you've only been on the Jack Wills one. And from my timelines, you were seeing Billy at that I time. I have never, ever never. on a trip. I went to the first Jack Wills house as well. I didn't hook up with anyone. Do loads yeah. of people get with each other on these trips? Um, yeah, a few. What? Yeah, a few. Yeah, is it as comic? In my head, it's just like one big. Do you think that was rogue? I don't know what happened. Like all throughout the trip, we were hello, hello, very nice to meet, love your content. Then on the last night, everyone was like scissoring in the pool. It was so bizarre. Really? Yeah. What's the wildest thing that you've seen? Not no names, of course. But I think well, it wasn't really wild, but Bartosz threw up in the pool. Ooh, oh, I said wild. no names, but yeah, oh, that'll sorry. do. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah. Well, so he's throwing up because did he have Intoxication. something to eat? Intoxication. He what? In the, intoxication. Oh, the intoxication. Oh, no, actually, we had to pull over the van on the way back from Ocean Beach because Jack Joseph was chucking up on the... I thought, get me out of this van. Yeah. Awful. That is... Um, yeah, I saw Wayne Lineker. That's pretty crazy. What? Did you get a picture with him? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I've got a story about that, actually. Go on. Uh, my friend, right. Harry, no W2S. Oh, okay. He went to... Go, because, you know, he is a pop culture... A cultural icon. That's a better way to put it. Wayne Who, Lineker. Harry? Well, both of them, I oh, think. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
But Wayne Lineker in particular is a cultural icon. Yeah. And so obviously we went to Ocean Beach and we they're like, we need a photo. Of course. We went, so anyways, Harry goes up to Wayne and says, him. he said, can I get a photo please, oh. Wayne? And Wayne sort of just looks at him and just turns his head. He, it, it, it was, it was a, it was, it was maybe uh, you could argue it was a polite way of just saying no. no. Yeah. Um, but we did have a, a large bodyguard with us at the oh, time. Meow. And he walks, uh, when he walks past, and the bodyguard goes, excuse me, he wanted a photo with you. Oh. Next thing you know, he gets the photo. <laughs> Wayne Lineker cucked. Really? But you know what? I like to think that maybe it was, it, was just an off, it was just an off day for Wayne. We, uh, I've, I, yeah. I've said no, and I'm not even a have cultural you? icon. Guys. The party has arrived at Jack Wills. It's time to get your winter wardrobe redecorated. And what else to decorate it with than the big J-dubs? They have everything from party wear. You know, we've all watched High School Musical. Troy Bolton and Gabriella met on the Alps. Uh, and, you know, who knows? You could also be doing that wearing Jack Wills. And they also have cohorts, like what I'm wearing today. Look at that. Luscious in pink. Don't flirt with me. Jack Wills have got you covered this Christmas. Be sure to check out their amazing new festive collection, ready for everything you're doing in the festive times. Or you're lacking, you don't know what you're gonna get your friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, I'm inclusive, uh, for Christmas. Jack Wills, I've sorted you out. Or you've sorted yourself out, just buy something for yourself and call it self-love. I'm not judging. So to get 10% off all full price items on the Jack Wills website, use the code SAVINGGRACE10. Thank you again to Jack Wills for sponsoring today's pod. Love you, hun. I yeah. always say yeah. Do you? Have you yeah. have you ever said no to a fan? No. Would you? What is there no. a situation? You're, you're at your mother's funeral. Yeah. And someone in the distance goes... That saving grace. Cheese. Oh, okay, you want the coffin in it as well? Get your. Would you actually take a photo? You're bawling your eyes out. Someone's rocked Yeah, up but to look, you. if I get cancelled, I need everyone on my side. Do you know what I mean? I can't have that one person like, she fucking said no to me. She's a bit. I need her on my side as well. So, yeah, my mum's dead. She won't care. Yeah. Fine, get the photo and go. She's not going to say. She won't. Who, she, bigger problem. She had a fucking casket. Yeah. No, I actually, I think that's really commendable. Thank you. I think that's, that's honorable, if anything. Yeah. Uh, moving on, your good friends, Joe and George. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Great guys. Love them. Yeah. High energy, high octane yeah. people. A lot. A lot. That was what was showing a lot. Have you ever shagged George? No. He's no. a virgin. He's not though, is he? He is. Who did you fucking research? Stevie Wonder, he's a virgin. Stevie Wonder was blind. Exactly. What's that got to do with George? They can't read the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Can't read the screen. Not not watch the screen or look at the screen. But oh yeah, to the be fair, they've got uh, advances now. Um, so yeah, and we're, and we're talking about Joe from, uh, sorry, we're talking about George from, from Joe and George. Not yeah. Me. We'll get onto him. So yeah, one of the things that you asked them and that mm. you dug deep. Oh, yeah, your, your words, if you will. Uh, was you asked them about how they lost their virginity. Yeah. Joe got the clap. No, gonorrhea. Don't know. Both just as bad. Both yeah. need antibiotics. Is that from experience? <sighs> no, I've never had gonorrhea. I've had the clap once. Really? That was a dark time for me. And was friend. that from unprotected sex? Well, I would assume so, yeah. 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 Well, you... So uh, <laughs> how did you lose yeah. your virginity? I just, uh, one day, had a boyfriend, 15, and my mum was like, going to Sainsbury's, our local shop. And I said... Okay, and the guy had been going for ages. Can I take it? I said, no. And then I thought, fucking hell, it's just annoying now. Just take it. So I laid there. He did it for about an honorable 10 seconds, I'd say. That's fine. Got off. I just said, don't touch me. And then the next day he was like, yeah, she laid there like a dead fish. So that's my virginity story. Yeah. So yeah. what did, were they, was he not very, was he just... A bit of a prick. Do you, do, so you don't look back on that with fond memories? No, I don't go, oh, I can't wait to tell my kids about that. Not you, that you well, would tell your kids about that. Well, you might if you're... I feel like virginity stories, uh, they, uh, there is no... You, you see when people, they're like, I want it to be like, this, this is how I imagine it. It never goes. What's your virginity story? You can't get it up. Uh, no, no, I, was, uh, I, I wasn't even 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. I was, well, I, I was 
five, six. To five, be, six? To, to, to be honest, I, I, I was pretty sure I could have not had sex and I would have uh, climaxed. <laughs> um, it, was, it was that intense. Did you ever speak to the girl again? Uh, I sent her an apology letter. <laughs> yeah, as you should. Uh, years later, yeah. once I realised quite how what? bad that was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but okay, She's yeah. walking around going, I took Cal Freezy's virginity and he lasted five, six seconds. Does that haunt you at all? No, I think it's character building. Mm, yeah. I think that... Comment down below if you took Cal's virginity. We can have a chat, get your Or don't. <laughs> Keep that to yourself as well. <laughs> <that's totally fine. laughs> Don't feel the need to share everything. That's Grace's job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So, you, yeah, okay. Uh, just go. Okay. Okay. Do you... Uh, oh, on, on the, on the, no, no, this one. This one I, I think I know the answer to this one anyways. Don't but um, you asked Joe about his beef with a certain drag queen. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, They've made up now. They have. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Do you have any beef with any drag queens? I don't think I do. Not with drag queens, I don't think. Yeah. No. You do have quite a lot of beef with people, though. You're always coming in here with the <laughs> latest gossip. Yeah. No, I am. But that's good for you guys. I know you guys enjoy it. Oh, we, oh absolutely. I'm like, because guess we're, what? we're, we're not in this that week. space. Yeah. And so we get the realest tea from you. Thank you. Um, yeah. I mean, that page episode was. That was that yeah, was spicy. Did that give you the ick when I just did that. Um, I mean, I I, you, you, I think you have to like someone <laughs> okay. in, in the first place in order to get the ick. But that's fine. But that uh, that congratulations on that episode. Thank you. It was also the shortest ever podcast in the history of podcasts. We had to cut out a lot. Did you? Yeah. Was it? Do you think the stuff that was cut out was like even more juicy? No. Really? Not really. So the the people didn't miss out on too much. No, I don't think so. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you're feeling down or if you want to speak to anyone, if you're feeling a bit stressed, BetterHelp is a great place to go. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service, which is online. You can video call a therapist or you can not put your camera on if you're feeling a bit ugly or shy. All the therapists on BetterHelp are trained and professional, so they help find what it is that you're dealing with, how to help you, and just have a bit of a stress-free life. And there's no pressure on it. It's convenient, secure, and it's accessible anywhere. So it doesn't matter what lifestyle you have. If you're always on the go, you can always access BetterHelp. So to learn more and save 10% off of your first month, go to betterhelp.com. So that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash saving grace. Thank you very much for sponsoring today's podcast. Would who has been your favourite guest that you've had on? <sighs> who have I had on? Probably I liked Alison Hammond. Uh, that that episode. Well, by the time of filming this, it's today, yeah. so I haven't even had a chance to watch that. You won't. I've watch got my it, though, I've got my notifications you? on though. Have you? Yeah. I mean, I don't know who Alison Hammond is though. What? Yeah. Is I that a lie? I swear, I, I actually don't know who that is. I mean, if I've never, you don't look like someone who'd watched like this morning, but you must have seen her clips when she pushed the guy into the river. I, I, I've, I've seen, well, now that obviously, because I saw her come into the studio, yeah, you know I was there like, is. I do recognize some of your stuff, but I can't say I'm like a, I'm like an Alison Hammond fan, but okay, so well, you would say she's your favorite. She was your favorite. Yeah. Love her. Is there a dream guest that you'd like to have on? I You're always harping on about people. Rob Beckett or Ricky Gervais. I feel like we can have some fun. I get him a beer. That's it, really. I could just get him a beer. Just a beer. A beer. Maybe maybe he's... Maybe he doesn't like a beer. He does like beer. He does like beer. You, you know at the Golden Globes when he's sat talking to paedophiles and he has the beer? At the Golden Globes? Because he t spoke about paedophiles and he's like, oh, it's all right. I know you're all friends with him. Don't be upset. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very spicy. Cheeky. Uh, I, I, I'm, I, I think we can make Rob Beckett happen. Okay. I don't see why not. Is it, like, he's famous, but not that famous. All right. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> No, like he's obviously he's at the Golden Globes, right? And I'm yeah, sat I'm here on Christ. fucking Saving Grace, so what? there's clearly right. a there's clearly a imbalance. But this is Rob, your production, here. Rob. Come, come on the pod. Yeah, that was meant to be to me. Yeah, come on, come on your pod. Well. We don't want you on the fellas, but you can come on this one. I... <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you had Emily Miller on. Yeah, love Emily Miller. Do you, have you spoken to her since the pod? I have. Really? Yeah. Have you ever have you ever had someone on the pod and then became friends with them? 
Do you know what I mean? Like, you know how you half know someone when they come on the pod and then you're like, oh, actually, we should hang out Can more. I speak to, like, Faith quite a lot? I was kept in yeah. contact with Faith. Faith's lovely. Emily. Um, oh, do you know what? I don't remember a lot of people that I've had on. Yeah. Well, we'll go through them. Yeah. You'll, you'll remember them. <laughs> Great. Uh, but yeah, you had Emily, Emily on. Mm -hmm. Fantastic guest. Thank you. And she was actually talking about how she went through her boyfriend's phone. Oh, love that. Really? Have yeah. you ever been through Billy's phone? Never been through Billy's phone. I went through, he doesn't know this, but once I was like, oh, can I uh, just search something on TikTok? And I quickly looked at who'd been sending him TikToks. There was a few names, so you can stop yeah. that. Uh, but you're friends, so it's fine. Um, best but friends no, I've or never, just friends? Yeah, just friends. What do you think about guys having best girlfriends? I, to be fair, <laughs> I have to be fine with it, so it's really good. Um, <laughs> I really enjoy it. To be fair, his friends, I don't think, I don't think they'd sleep together. Um, and if they do, you're getting fucking exposed on the saving grace. So, yeah, just that's your warning. <laughs> that wasn't a very good warning, was it? So you, ha you so you have but been I've through never, his phone. I've never been through his like messages. Yeah. I don't think I'd want to. I feel like you're just setting yourself up for a... Uh, but now you've put it in my head, I want to. Really? I won't See, if I though. found out my girlfriend had been through my phone too, right. Luda, I would break up with them. Okay, well, it's a good thing we're not dating. So. <laughs> yeah. Do you, not think, do you not think it's a breach of trust? It is a breach of trust. But you know what? When I've been through my ex's phones, yeah. you know, you get the gut feeling. And Fine. then you actually do find something. So, but, so... But in that case then... But it's like a, it's an all or nothing play here. Yeah. Right. Because right. It, it, you go in there. Okay. You find something. Mm. You cool. have to tell him though. You have yeah. to be like, what the fuck is yeah, this? Yeah. So that, and that's fine. And you'll probably break up after it. Or mm. if you're a cuck, you go back to him. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. however you want to do it. But if you don't and, and, and the other person finds out you've been through it for me, it's a, it's a wrap. It's true. Because Maybe. if you can't, if you can't, you can't trust them, then mm. everything you do, it's like, What's the point in a relationship if you can't trust someone? It's, do you know what? It's so true. And I'm yeah. never going to go through his phone again. I just wanted again. to see the TikToks. I was in the TikTok. Okay, right. That was, I was just intrigued. I was like, well. Because there's a lot of girls out there that would say they go through their boyfriend's phone regularly. I feel like that's kind of normal though. A lot of girls go through their boyfriend's phone. Really? It's kind of a, it's a thrill. It's a thrill. It's, it's like, like oh, have I been cheated Yeah, on? some people bungee jump. Some people go through iPhones and that's fine. Whatever's your niche. Fair enough. Okay. Just looking out for Billy on that one. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's fine. I think. Thank you, Bill. Um, we spoke about her. Recent mother. Congratulations to Faith. Faith. Woo. Ottilie yeah. Olive. Yeah. Olive Ottilie. Olive Ottilie. Olive Ottilie. Yeah. Sorry. And and quite funny, uh, Olive Ottilie Payne Oop. It was a... It was what? All, oop. What are you... Oh, Oop. Oop. And a Oop. And I, d I think he's come out and said it before, but it was a mistake. Oh, they didn't was... mean to have a child. I mean, does so, anyone? Well, Fuck I me. just think that it's great. There's oop, and it was a mistake. And it was a mistake. No, like, I didn't oops. even put that together. Yeah, that is a good That's cool. one. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna save that for the fellas, but you can have that one. Thank you. Hold, hold on a second. My research has gone a little bit crazy on this one. Chucked emojis in here. Oh, what emojis? Like an uh, aubergine. Yeah. Oh, okay. So she was talking about blocked words on Insta. It's something that she spoke yeah. about. Yeah. Have you have you blocked any words on oh. your Insta? <laughs> you have. Uh, Go on. What? No, only on the Saving Grace one. Right. Yeah. But I can't disclose what those words were. Do you know, do you know how exciting this is, right, guys? If you've got a spare week, um, <laughs> you can just spend your life in the comments typing different things and then just seeing which words get blocked and you can find out the answer. Just think of the most risky things you can possibly think of. Um, well, yeah. So there you go. There you guys go. Um, you had Izzy on. Is she still your best friend? Still mates of Izzy. Ooh, we're on the yeah. same management. So. The same management. Yep. Is, is that how you met her? Through management? Through no, management? I met her on uh, the early days of TikTok. We were really? On, yeah, we had an awful group chat. Who was in the group just, chat? N just some people. No, you can say their names. It's your podcast. Absolutely not. Really? Well, you don't no, get along with them anymore? I don't get along with most of okay. them now. Yeah. Christ. Right. And what, what, why did you guys, what, does someone get more followers than another person then it kicks off? No, it, they just turned very bitch. It was a very bitchy group chat. Ooh. Yeah. I feel like TikTok's like that though, isn't it? Yeah. Between a lot of people. Although now I actually do keep myself to myself now, apart from on the podcast, but that's yeah. separate. That's, that's fine. like a whole different thing. This is your thing. Yeah. This, this is, is your child. podcast. Yeah. You yeah. Can, this is your baby. You can, this is I your can, safe space. Yeah. You can just slap whatever I want onto this podcast. Absolutely. Not the child. That's weird. A child? Yeah. When would you have kids? I wouldn't. 
You wouldn't? Well, actually, no. Billy likes kids, so maybe I'd fob it off onto Bill. Then I can go get my nails done or something and yeah. deal with that. When, when do you think would be the right time, that like age-wise? When I'm dead, honestly. No, see, I think that will change. How old are you now? 23? 23. It won't change. I've I, n- I don't know how to speak to kids. I don't understand them. Look at me, I'm doing a dance. You're not doing anything. And it just, they stink. One ate a packet of quavers on the train this morning, 9 a.m. Yeah. I'd, I would go, get off at this stop and stay on the train. Leave it on the, whatever it's called, platform. My mum used to do those sort of like mean tricks to me, actually. Did she? She used to leave that me. That explains in, a lot. She, she, she used to, she used to leave me in like Tesco's. If I, was, if I, was, if I, if I wasn't <laughs> yeah. behaving properly, yeah. she said, fine, stay here then. That's quite funny. And though. she would check out and then she, I didn't realize, but she would just wait around the corner outside Tesco. But in my head, I thought she'd lost. So she, yeah. what I would do is I would go to Tesco and be like, my mum's left. You didn't. I'd be like, my mum's left. And so on the tannoy, they'd go, there's a kid, da, 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 da. Obviously my mum not knowing she's outside. She's not realizing that I've told the person whack it on the tannoy five, 10 minutes. She would have me waiting there 30 minutes and then she would rock up. And the person would go, your kid's been here. Oh, no, no. I told him to sit tight. I, Yeah, that's a good... I'll use that then. Maybe we'll yeah. have kids. It'll be fun. That's how I learned how to gaslight my mum. Phenomenal woman. Yeah. Great woman. <laughs> she Phenomenal is. woman. She is. Um, God love her. Yeah. Well, that, that's great. Uh, moving on to Sluzza. You had yeah. Sluzza on? The TikTok Sluzza. Callie Sluzza. Yeah. The one Was she dating Tom Garrett at one point? Apparently. I don't know if they still are dating. Yeah. The king He's of... got to be very open and trustworthy. What, but because he's dating her? Like, they've got to have an open relationship and he's got to be okay with that. Do, do, do they have an open relationship? Surely. I think so. I think she said that on my pod. So they're, they're dating? I don't know. I haven't spoken to her in a while. Yeah. But she Maybe. Was, she, was, she was very open about it. Apparently her. Tom's in love with her though. I've heard oh, really? that. Not from her. Oh, really? It's one of those ones. sources. Well, yeah. let's hope that, um, that w- either they're still together WAP or... Good. That what? That WAP. WAP. Does good. I wouldn't know. Is that what, is that what you say if like, yeah, like a guy's in love with a girl, she, she must have a... She's got a fat WAP. A fat WAP. Apparently having a fat pussy is good. Versus a... I don't know. Anorexic? Okay. Underfed puss. <laughs> A dieted. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Go on then. All right. Mm. Um, I don't really know where I was going with the Sluzza stuff. Yeah. Um, but you, you, you insisted on asking for her body count. So I feel like I owe her no. this one. So you've heard the bags asked me this one and yeah. I gave them. What did you say? I said, I'll give you something to guess between. Okay. It's under, it's in somewhere along the lines of between zero oh, that, that shit and... Now. You gotta give a give me a proper. Well, that's a that's such a crap thing. You gotta give me a baseline, an actual. Okay, baseline. between eight. Between. Okay, between. Yes. I haven't even told Billy my body count. Though. Yeah, yeah, that's. I don't. I don't want to know the exact number. I okay, want a decent range. Seven. Yeah. And twenty. 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 <laughs> seven yeah. and twenty. Yeah. So your body count's 12? No. No, that's so low, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> that is so unrealistic. Okay. And Okay, that's fine. Look, Hi. hey, the people in the comments, you can you can share share your thoughts on that. Yeah. Uh, and let you know. Um, <laughs> Great. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, Slaza was Slaza was very open about her stuff. I, I, I really appreciate someone that comes on a podcast mm. and will just chat about anything and everything. Yeah. Frosh. Would you say she's been the most, not necessarily about sex, but who has been the one person you you maybe, or even someone that you thought wasn't going to be as open as they were, and they were just down to chat about whatever. Her and Paige. Really? Paige was so open. Really? Didn't even have to give her a little nudge. People you know, were loving you in the comments, though. They were like, you were asking all the right questions. and It's almost like it's my job. Um... Do you think that you have the biggest female-led podcast in the UK? No, probably not. You do? Yes, I do. Sorry. You do. Yeah. Oh, I do. As you in do. I do. You do. I do. Yeah. N- yeah. N- name. Suck name. An- that s- Fantastic choice. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic choice. Yeah. And congratulations on that feat. Thank this you. This is now the go-to podcast. Right. For anyone that either wants to spill tea. Yeah. Or wants to get their clout up. And that's And that's good. why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. Things of uh, the last two videos I haven't done... <laughs> 
You had L Brook on. <laughs> yeah. And oh. have I got a surprise for you? Thank you for today's sponsor of the podcast, Skin and Me. Uh, listen, I know you all want to look like me, be like me, uh, but you can be one step closer by using Skin and Me. All you got to do is go online uh, and fill out a little form about your skin, tell them your problems, your issues. Uh, and then it basically gives you a whole formulated skincare to fix your skin. You will no longer be ugly bugly. Uh, what it does is it comes with a whole kit, talking moisturizers, toners, whatever else that you put on your skin. Uh, and it also has your name on it. So if you bump your head, get some memory loss, just go to your skincare, you remember what your name is. So that's like a double bargain. So usually Skin and Me is £24.99 a month. Stop screaming, it's fine because I've got a discount code. You can get it your first month for £3.50 using the code GRACE. So if you want to target pigmentation, acne, aging, or just your whole face in general, Skin and Me is where it's at. Usually £24.99, but you get your first month for £3.50 using the code GRACE. Who would you say, first of all, was your like favourite porn star person, talking of porn stars, only fans, person that you had on your pod? Oh, who did who did we? Ha I, I can tell. I think I've genuinely only had Emily Black on. Oh no, we had um, Sophie Anderson. Okay, well that's the wrong answer. Okay, because I thought you'd say Elbrook. I don't think she's been on our podcast. Rosie, you've done videos with her. Fair I did a video with her. I did it. Okay, yeah, fine. I did a YouTube video with her. Okay, fine. Yes. yes. Well, I thought you were going to say her. Yeah. So I tried to set you both up. But before this podcast, so she wanted to drop you a little message. So I've got her little message for you. <laughs> this is not how the podcast was. I'm the one setting you up. I'm just going to let you watch So wait, it. <laughs> Rosie, the producer of Saving Grace, has, has pulled a double agent. Right, you just press play when you want. It's best not get me in trouble. <laughs> Cal Freezy. I love you so, so much. Right. That's Watch the whole thing. <laughs> there Watch the whole go. thing. Otherwise, I'll have... play it on the El mic. Ellie is a fantastic <laughs> person. You can, uh, you can, you can hold on. You're tall. You're handsome. You've got the biggest smile mm -hmm. I've ever seen. And you also drive a Porsche. I've worn something sexy just for you. <laughs> P.S. Follow me back and then I'll give you everything you want she this is one of the biggest stitch jobs of all time so i am the gonna be in the doghouse for no fucking reason so i have to deny the rumors between you and elbrook what the fuck are the rumors <sighs> behind the bike sheds in the cafe downstairs actually one leg up was what was <laughs> circulating around the studios so you can deny those. I, I, I would like to come on this podcast and let you know that those okay. rumors are all false. Okay, well, that's not what I said, but we'll carry on. So, El Brook. And we're not cutting that either. <laughs> <laughs> Has your boyfriend ever watched El's videos? Well, like OnlyFans videos. Uh, whatever platform. No, he's she's... only watched um, my podcast popular. with her. Right. And like... Oh, and uh, the, I think he watched a little bit of the, was it the, when you, she had to go yes or no? Or was yeah. she in the video? Oh, my they video. Went, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Big fan. Oh, what can I say? It's nice to have your boyfriend as, a, as an avid viewer yeah. of the Cal Freezy channel. Um, you had Katie Franklin on. Big bum. Um, <laughs> I have here no notes about that podcast, so I can only assume it was shit. <laughs> um... But you did move on to Chloe Burrows. I did. Chloe. One of our most viewed. It, is it it's not nearly the at a most mil. viewed? Yeah. I think. Congratulations Thank on that. Thank you. Can you all go watch it just so I can... Yeah, get it to a million. Do I get a plaque or something? No. Fucking you don't get hell, a hammer, sorry. Slacking. Well, you can see the budget. I couldn't even afford <laughs> a, clipboard, a proper clipboard. It literally says here, £1.99. That's how bad this show's doing <laughs> yeah, for our enough. studio. Um... But yeah, you know, Chloe was on. Chloe, Chloe was great. Thank I enjoyed that podcast a lot. Thank you. Chazza Blonde. Chazza Blonde. Chazza. 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 Chazza Blonde. <laughs> yeah. We've got, uh, I've got a question here, but I feel like it's very, very inappropriate. So we'll move on what to Danny it? D. Move oh, on okay, to Danny fine. D. Um, 
Right, this is not my question. <laughs> Rosie, the producer, is insisting <laughs> on this question being asked. I don't know whether she's a, she's a TikTok clip in this or what, but um, is her... <laughs> Her vagina, yeah, nicer than yours. Yeah, have you seen it? Yeah, right. Is it? Is this a common thing? Well, like she showed you... me it on the podcast. A little nude. Oh, she she didn't just yeah get it out. Yeah, she so just, hers was it... nice. Mine looks like it's been beaten up, and it has. Move on, Danny D. Danny D. Yeah. Was it? It wasn't Danny D that beat up. Caused... No, 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 no. That was Billy. Yeah, I know it was Billy. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever watched any of Danny D? So when you, because you, you, yeah. Lizzie, you've had a lot more OnlyFans and porn stars on here. Yeah. Before they come on, do you actually look into their content? Yeah, I was on the train watching one of Danny D's videos. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't one of the acting ones. I, well, to be fair, I sifted through, so I don't know if it was. But yeah, he does a massive penis. Yeah. Quite big. It, 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 it might is be a... too big. I wouldn't want that near me, ever. Right. Do you think there is like a happy medium? Yeah. You can either have too small. Everyone's like, it's about the motion. Not, no, but if you've got a little mushroom, like what is that? It's in and you're going, is it? So yeah. I feel like... And have you, you ever probably... had to say that? No. You no. hesitated a little I don't little think I had... Well... You think about through all the 20 people. You know, it's going to take a while. No, what? bold. I thought it was 12. But you told me the range was up to 20. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so you've never had to say that? No. Would... Uh, do you think Billy's <laughs> Billy's good to B Bill, Billy? Bill's well endowed. Is that endowed? endowed? Endowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But have, have you ever gone to him? Um, you have the perfect size. I think that's a weird thing to say in general. I don't think I've ever gone. You are perfect down below. Like oh, that's is that yeah. not weird? Well, because there's just like this saying that if a girl ever tells you that you are the perfect size, yeah, you've got a small cock oh That's okay well no thing. i have that thank god well you've never said it to Panics, him so yeah bill mate we're in the well clear done. here yeah. congratulations <laughs> um i tell you what you had harry jowsey on that was <laughs> yeah. pretty cool is that the first person outside of the uk that you've had on yeah i think so i think so that was pretty cool that was i was very nervous were you actually yeah he is quite attractive he's very tall he is very tall i was like but he was quite um reserved on my pod you, you know, he's so? like, he like fucked her in the fucking fuck pussy yeah. ass. But he was very like, he had a girlfriend at the time, uh, which we all know he was going to cheat on. He kept going, oh, I can't say that. I said, who's the best girl you've shagged? And he went to go say another girl. And then he went, oh, no, my girlfriend. <laughs> I was like, oh, what the hell? So, yeah. Yeah. Well, he was, uh, it was pretty cool that you had him on. Uh, but I could tell he was nervous to be on the podcast, you know. You know, in the presence of me, who can blame him? I wonder if he'd watched any of your stuff before Definitely or not. his management were just Definitely like, not. this is your schedule for today. Oh, you're going on this podcast. No, I think his producer knew who I was. So oh, she really? got him on the pod. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Humbling, but yeah. Yeah. Um, moving on through. Oh my God. You had your mom and your dad on the pod. Don't even say a word. Why not? I'm really scared. Why? For what you're going to say. Have you ever heard your parents have sex? I'm literally not even... Well, they they I said they, they they said that they had heard you. Yeah, and that was running through my mind because I was thinking, when? Well, during the act, must that have been? Oh, you were thinking no. during the podcast, <laughs> yeah. right? Okay. When must that have been? So, have you ever heard them go at it? I cannot discuss. My dad watches this podcast. I'm not disclosing this. I feel, I feel like that's not a big thing to disclose, though. Whether you've you've heard them, I'm not asking whether you watched or participated in. I'm asking <laughs> whether you've heard them. You have. You clearly have. Otherwise, you would just say no. So that's fine. Fine. It's, fi it's, it's fine to right. say that. Okay. Do you think that they were having a good time? Ow! What an awful question. What do you mean? Like, was, it, uh, was it like a... Well, I hope so. Otherwise, that's not really like... How long have they been together? <sighs> like, I don't know, like 14 years maybe? Yeah, so you'd hope after 14 years... No, I longer. Right. I'm 23. Longer. Longer. Since I was two. Okay. So there's a, there's a way to do that at maths. 21, yes. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so obviously your parents are sexually so active, which is fantastic. Because oh, a, lot of the, a lot of the times God. after 21 years, there's something called a dead bedroom. Yeah. 
Is uh, that what you're suffering with? Or you no, still no, 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 no. Well, the, well this, is, this is what I'm saying. I think yeah. after 21 years, there's probably yeah, things that you want to do to spice it up. Oh. Have you ever pegged someone? No. Although, no. I've always wondered, could I? I don't think I could fuck. I feel like for me, I'd be like, oh, I'm the bloke then. Yeah. You know? But then I think I could do a finger. If my nails were short, maybe I could. Yeah. But Steph, you don't like things up your ass though. No, that's not for me. Mm, it's not for enough. me i've spoken about it many a time on yeah. the fellas but this is what i'm saying after 21 years you'd have i think to maybe... i'd be i'd be I, i'm probably game for anything you'd be asking for it please just do something interesting in the bedroom yeah and you'd ask for a finger up there after your parents <laughs> you had you actually had another parent Lisa Bags. Miss Bags. Love she her. is. I, I met her for the first time actually at the launch party Did you of not meet Not her My when she came to- No, I didn't. I don't think I got a chance. And she Crazy. is amazing. Crazy. Love She's her. awesome. Mm-hmm. She was really cool. Um, who would you prefer to have as a mother? What the fuck? Well, I would. Because you seem I'm- to get along like a little too well with Lisa Bags. And I was just thinking, is there any part of you there just like, kind of wish you were my mum? I love my mum. I yeah. do. If I could have both of them, like if they got into a lesbian relationship, I wouldn't complain. I'd be like, oh, like best of both worlds. So is it, in that case, would you like be excited to be able to hear them? You're done. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, we'll just go on to India then. <laughs> um, oh no, you had Charity Shop Sue on. Mm-hmm. And you know what? You know what's interesting? Before we started doing this podcast, right. I say we as if I'm on here every week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before you started doing this podcast, yeah. I remember you saying to me mm. i want charity shops we want this was before you even did the first episode because we went what sort of guests you want on the pod oh, and you yeah. went i've got to get charity and you shops went here. who's charity yeah shop? oh my god on your podcast i said that and oh, you went is that what it was yeah oh yeah whatever it was and that i just didn't it. get it i was like why are they shouting that at me yeah yeah well that's cool I- i'm glad that you had almost a bit of a full circle <laughs> moment maybe yeah. we could make a cool you know one of those like fan edits where they put like the emotional music <laughs> yeah. and it's, and it's yeah. your clip on fellas and then it's like her walking on set yeah here, and it's like wow that is beautiful why hasn't someone done that already Fake yeah fans um you then had madeline orgy on <laughs> yeah why are you cracking up about that i did what was that like? What, what was, uh, what was, which, I mean, I was here when she came here. She was a lot shorter in person. Yeah, she is quite small. Petite. You, 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 you are not short. No, thank you. Because yeah. I had someone come on here and go, you say you're tall, but you're not tall. I am tall. How I'm tall five are you? Nine. Five nine. That's yeah. tall for a girl. With no? or without Air Maxes? The, these are Pumas. Is, is that a sponsored <laughs> thing? No, those are Jack Will's new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> um without yeah yeah no yeah because my friend's 5'10 and we measure each other sometimes cool <sighs> yeah um but yeah uh, you had her on and i i had to I, I was a little bit disappointed with that podcast and i'll tell you why <laughs> tell me because i wanted a central c question so did i <laughs> and yeah. so why was there no central c question she said i wasn't allowed to ask about it okay yeah what was your vibe off of it do you like like do you like off the podcast did you did you feel as though that she was pro- she was probably dating they definitely i think they are dating yeah yeah but i think she doesn't want to be known as central c's girlfriend which is fair enough she nobody wants to, wants to you, nobody wants to be referred to as someone else's no partner fuck em. yeah but um yeah but then apparently there's rumors now that she's with a girl fuck knows what do could i know be an open relationship yeah who knows could be me but it's not. It's not. Yeah. So, so we don't have to worry about yeah, that. That's good. Uh, you then had a um, what are they? Uh, what are they? Uh, yeah, a sidekick. <laughs> that's what it's called. Yeah, a future yeah. reader. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you will. Uh, what, what? What do we reckon? He said he sees me in America. He said someone in my family's got heart problems, so I rushed home. I went right. Who's got heart problems then? My mum has gone. I've got a murmur. I've gone, fuck. And it stressed me out because I thought she was going to die that night. I kept waking up trying to hear if I could hear her snoring. But it wasn't. It was just her having sex it was ju- with your oh, dad. That is so disgusting. Awful. But no, she is still alive. She is. Your mum's still alive. I have a heart murmur. Do you? Or I did. You look like you'd have a heart murmur. <laughs> I'm not too sure whether <laughs> me and your mum should be offended by that. <laughs> yeah. Um... 
But wait, who's, who's fucking podcast are we on here? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Chris, <laughs> yeah. Chris, Chris, Chris. It's yeah. all a bit vague. That's very what I vague, find with these, very vague. With these things. Mm. Is that because you don't believe in psychics, do you? You think it's a load of no, shit? No, yeah, I think it's a load of bollocks. But I do believe in like um, something else. Mm. I don't think. But, but then I can't tell. Is that just the arrogance of humans? You should watch Twenty Eight Days in Hauntedness or something on Netflix. Well, good, and I think it's real. Right, sway you. What 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 is it about? Just uh, these mediums. No. Mediums, demonologists, that's the thing. I looked it up on LinkedIn. There's fucking loads of them, especially in Portsmouth. Um, and they basically <laughs> go to these haunted, like known haunted places. Yeah. Like, but they, they're blindfolded. They don't know anything about it. And um, the mediums are like, there was two women dead here, blah, blah. And then they're like, yeah, shit. There was two. And one thing, they went in the garden and they were like, on the firmer things, the firmer stats, and you can see heat. And there was one bit on the ground, there was loads of heat. And they were like, guys, what the fuck? Dug it up. It was only one of them, like, demon star things. And I thought, that's mental. And on one of them as well, sorry, I'll stop in a minute. They were, he was talking to the ghost or whatever. And no one noticed it apart from Bill. The wire just moved like that. And no one was touching it. It was nowhere near anything. And the wire moved and it, we rewound it. And I was like, wow, that did happen. That's real. It's real, yeah, 100%. Nothing says I'm here, like moving a wire. Yeah, but it was mental the way it moved. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think there is something out there. I agree. I think may, maybe <gasps> in the form of spirit. Wait, because when my granddad died, right, yeah. I thought, fucking hell, because he was dead. And then after his funeral, <laughs> we were all sat in the kitchen, still having a natter about him, as you do, because that was yeah. his day. Um, and the kitchen door, I shit you not, no windows open, because it was actually quite chilly that day. No windows open, whatever. The fucking kitchen door flung open, and we Ooh. all went, Granddad, and that was it. Wow, yeah. that is... I can't imagine why else a kitchen No, there was, was no, open. genuinely... No, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm not saying there was a little kid that's just opened it and you couldn't Spooky. see the kid. And me and Billy decided not to shag that night because we thought it would be so weird because my granddad was in the house. Do you ever think that he's just watching you? I hope not. To be honest, I don't do anything. Watch me then. Do you know what I mean? I don't really do much. Yeah, I mean, because... If you died, would you watch your kids? Ooh, I'd, I'd say no. <laughs> I'd, I'd try and avoid it. Yeah. But you have to think like, it's not only that, but it's like, are they now watching you masturbate? Like there is that element of shame. I'd like to think they turn a blind eye. If I was a mum and watching my kids, as soon as they got out the little zzz, I'd be like, I'm gone. I'm gone. And I'll come back in 10 minutes for you. Six seconds is what your mum would have to do or dad. So, Well, neither my mum or dad are dead. If you, I thought for a second there, you yeah. were going to say they were both dead. And I was about to have to get off this chair yeah. and walk out. They're not. Okay, good. Yet. But if they do die shortly after this... I've jinxed it. You've done them in. <laughs> um, let's keep it stepping okay, through sorry. through the the Saving Grace archive. Are you enjoying yourself so mm -hmm. far? <laughs> sorry, I am. Yeah? Yeah. Because a lot of the time when I watch a thing, it, it look, I can see the, the clogs turning in your brain when you have other people on thinking, what, am I what the say fuck next? am I going to yeah, ask next? Seriously. But Some now you don't have to worry about that. That's my job. I'm relaxed. I'm sat. Yeah, I'm you're like chill. Yeah. Is it 12 yet? Yeah? yeah, sorry, 12.30. Oh, wow. what the hell? Well, we're overdue a drink. Do you have uh, butler service on this show? Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Um, I would like, is there just a cider or a beer? Oh, that's so boring. Uh, yes, a strong bow will add. Maybe I'll have a beer. Yeah. Yeah. You look, you give Fuck me. You. No, 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 no. Do you know what you give me yeah, vibes of? Like Say a it. pick me girl? <laughs> Am I, I right in saying pint. that? No. Well, maybe. Do you have lots of guy mates? No, not really. Oh, really? No, apart from Joe and George. One of them's I, gay. I was, so, yeah, yeah, like, I didn't, yeah. yeah I, it's, a, it's a fine line. I feel like you know the line a little bit better I know than the me line, yeah. when, when it comes to gay Most jokes. of my male mates are gay. Not to be like I, LGBT ally, but like most well, of no, them are Well, no, you are gay. an LGBTQ ally. I am, thank Good. you. Good, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, a Heineken. Do you know? You do know. I'm not even going to bother No, 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 you. go on. If you go with another yeah. premature. Cheers. Cheers to saving grace. Cheers to saving grace. Don't know if I like Heineken. Well, what were you hoping for? I don't know, like a carib? Have you just sniffed it out of each nostril? <laughs> yeah. Is one block? Yeah, no. Did you, did you know that um, at no. one time, you're actually only breathing through one nostril? 
So you think like you're, only one is actually breathing in. One nostril works right. at a time. Unless you're no, a cocaine both addict. Of them are <laughs> You don't, I really feel really bad for your producer. You cut a lot out Sorry. of your stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be really interesting when you go on tour. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, you, you see the way you scream, cut, cut. There's oh, going to be yeah. hundreds of people in the crowd that are going to be sat there with their phone going. Can you, no, I'll have time to turn it off. I, it doesn't you really piracy, work like that, Grace. That's piracy. It doesn't work like that, Grace. Really? Are you excited for your tour? Well, now I'm not, no. Because I will be drunk, 100%. I'll have to be drunk you have to go to, on that Well, stage. first of all, you have to be drunk because that's where the entertainment comes in. Mm. Um, have you got a guest? So how's it working? Are you doing guests for each? I'm going to do a guest for a little yeah. bit of it. Mm -hmm. Just checking, I'm saying it right. Mm -hmm. um, not for the whole thing. Because I think sometimes, you know, I bet people sometimes just skip through my pods. I think, fucking hell, that's a bit boring. So I think I'm going to do a little bit pods. Some games, maybe some like Agony Aunt stuff. Games as in, we're not playing like, we're not having a penalty shootout on stage, are we? Well, so would you what, really, yeah. What maybe. games are we talking? Are we talking dating games? Are we talking <laughs> drinking like, games? We could do, what's my age on the pod? Is it 16? Okay, bingo. Oh, we could do a bingo, like, you know, drag bingo. What's drag bingo? Like when a drag um, artist does bingo and they make it really funny. Okay. I was thinking of doing something like that. Mm -hmm. Meal for two, 69. That'll be in there. Got that one down. I, I don't know what those are. Two fat ladies, 88. But that's a bit, we're a bit, we're evolved, I yeah. guess. Now you can't do that now. We're inclusive. Yeah. So. Okay, I get it. I, I understand. Big boned ladies. Yeah. 89. Which is actually, uh, it, it's not true. That's not a thing. No, it's not. But you, you if it helps you sleep at night, it helps you sleep at right. night, doesn't it? All right. Well, Paige, we, we've already really talked about yeah. Paige, to be fair. Do you get do you get hurt when people say that you look like Stephen, Stephen Hawking, Hawking sat in that chair? Yeah, I do actually. And okay. do you know what? When we get a set re up, I don't know what it's called, like a re up, a redesign. I'm or gonna, just a new I'm gonna set. Burn, yeah, yeah. I'm going to burn these chairs genuinely. I don't want to ever see them again. They were like, oh, why don't you keep them? No, these have caught me, caused me trauma. Yeah. But the good thing is, it goes back. Look. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. That's now you really look like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, cool. Then we had uh, Alison Ammon, who we, who we just spoke about. God love her. Yeah. Um, and when you first reached out, so you actually messaged, did you speak to her <laughs> about did. this on the podcast? Because if this is the case, then we won't um, go through it. But Yeah, vaguely. But she aired yeah. me. And then, so how did you, what did you, did you hit her with a double so message? So I sent her a voice note, right? Because I thought, do you know what? People are more likely to open voice notes because they want, you know. Anyway, so I hit her with a voice note. Yeah, yeah, fuck them. And then, so blah, blah. And then she read it and I was like, cool, I'm never watching this morning again. Like deaf to the program. Then like a month later, she was like, great. That's not her accent. But she was like, Grace, my son was just watching you and he loves you. And I was like, I like you. And I clocked, I didn't reply. I'd like to come on, blah, blah. And then she was like, who do I think I am? Very humble. Humble girl. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Well, I, I like a story like that, yeah. actually. Yeah. That is great. What did I do? Okay. Sorry, I thought it was leading into something. I panicked. It is. What have I done? No, I haven't done anything. So you asked Max Fosh <laughs> yeah. about his shitty story. Love Max right? And he told you about the time he yeah. went for a crap yeah. up a, uh, halfway up a mountain. What's your worst shitting story? Have I... you have you desecrated yourself? Or was it defecated? Not desecrated. Defecated. Defica have you defecated in your I've only underwear? ever sharted. It was during lockdown. Mm -hmm. And I had to, um, me and my friend's hat stayed at our uni flax. It was just us two. Um, so we did like lockdown together for a bit. And then we were like, oh, we're going to die. So like, obviously we're all going to die. So we were like, let's get drunk every night and just go to town right and one time we got really drunk and i was like oh i think i need to fart and i did a shot and i also did another shot in the same circumstance like a week later so i stopped drinking rosé yeah because that's, that's a great what did it that, for me. that that's a great decision if you mm. notice something in particular is causing you to shit yourself yeah you should stop you should stop doing that thing. yeah and i thought there's no point really anyway because i didn't die um eden harves i still don't know who this person is but <laughs> how do you not know 
Uh, she said uh, here it says that she's known for getting cancelled. Mm. Um, but I'm not even too sure this podcast is out yet. No. So if it is, was was it any good? Yeah, no, it actually was really good. And she bought um chai. Oh, no, I don't want to. Okay, sorry, no, I don't want really to. Know, I just wanted sorry. to know if it's I'm good. Panicking. And should I be looking forward to it? You should be looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think this could one. be the redemption of Eden Halves. Um, and then last but not least, here we've got um a YouTuber Cal Freezy, and uh, oh, save <sighs> your force. comments. I've got. Yeah. I'm still going. Did you know who I was when you asked when I asked you to come on the fellas? Um. Do you know what? No. That's, that's I, a lie. No, no, no. I knew of the... So funnily enough, I knew of the side men, right? Sorry. But I knew the side men. And I just... When you messaged me, I I knew what... Actually, no, that's a lie. I knew what the fellas podcast was because I actually wanted right. to go on it before I went on it. But I thought you were part of the side men. Right. But I hadn't watched any of your videos or anything. Yeah. It was only like after then I was like, oh, fuck it. Because when I was like, oh, I'm going fuck, on the I fellas. thought I was going on one of the side men's podcasts. No, everyone lost their shit. I was like, I'm going on the fellas. And they were like, you're a fucking gal freezer. I was like, all right, Jesus. I should have made more of an effort when I came. Do you know what I mean? Fucking yeah, hell. I did think you... Um, all right, save it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Did you enjoy your time on the fellas? I actually did. I had a good time. I was really drunk. Yeah. A lot of things I regret. And can we talk about... No. No, we can talk about my ex. Do you remember when I spoke about my ex and he hounded you guys? Can we not talk about that? Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. I don't care. Yeah, I said a story about my ex. Yeah. Um, and you were telling us how nuts he was. Yeah, you? crazy. And then he started actually bombarding you all with messages and he asked to come on the show. Yeah, he did. And he said, let me... He was there like, I would like to say my side of the story. Yeah. And I clicked on his profile and there just wasn't enough followers. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. we don't care about you don't care. your story when you're not I'm bringing me views. I've got nervous because Cal keeps going, oh, we should prank Grace, blah, blah. I'm like genuinely terrified one day you're going to be like, surprise, surprise, he's here for the pods. Mm. That's what I have actual anxiety about. Well, I promise you I will never bring him on the uh, on this podcast. Thank you. Um, but that was actually, you know, if, if you hadn't have been on the fellas podcast, this we wouldn't, wouldn't be, be here. My girlfriend said that you would be amazing on a podcast. When I met her, she was like, I told Cal. Yes. And I was like, do you want a kiss? Yeah. And, she, and, and, then, and then I thought, well, she might be really shit at podcasting. So mm. what we'll do is we'll get you on the fellas and see oh, if you're any good I see what you're at saying. going on a podcast. I and don't then think we I were, was that good, though. I, I thought you were really good. Look back on that. And I don't actually even look back on that. Yeah. I pretend it didn't happen. It'd be right. great if you could take it down as well. Maybe. We're gonna, I think it's an important moment in history Great. because after that I went I think she'd make a, a, a good podcast and then that's when I, I messaged you guys and was like maybe we could start something called Saving Grace yeah no can we talk about the names it was gonna be oh yeah but but Saving Grace did come from us it did no I didn't yes. think of the name it was uh, what was it Plan B or something yeah oh um, there was Up the Bum No Harm Done bum, was no harm genuinely done. going to be the title of this podcast there was one about um it was like one night stand. There was a lot of tragic stuff in there. Like just awful. Are you stuff. glad you landed on Saving Grace? Yeah, I think it has like a ring. To, although some people, um, when I tell them I have a podcast called Saving Grace, they think it's like a religious mm. and then they click on it. I'm like, pussy, chlamydia. And it's like. Mm. I mean, I would have imagined that they'd very quickly realize it wasn't something religious the moment they met you. Well, do you remember my manager wanted pews, the set to have church pews. Yes. And I thought that, that's why I went to watch an exorcist film the other night in a church. I thought something's not sitting right here. It was yeah. a bit to do with nuns. Well, that's why I'm not a big fan of, you know how there's churches mm. that get converted into hotels? It's not really for me that either. I've stayed Fuck in a that. couple. I, I stayed in a couple uh, when I went to uh, Tomorrowland, the festival in Belgium. Oh, right, yeah. Big festival. And the hotel I stayed in was in a church. Now, that. I don't need to spell this out for people, but at a festival, you indulge in recreational wow. activities it. and coming home to a church <laughs> yeah. is pretty low down <laughs> yeah. on my list of things to do mm. or things I want to experience. Especially the next day when you're all depressed and sad yeah. and you're in a church. Yeah. So yeah. I would not recommend that for the, even if you're sober. Mm. Yeah, don't, stay in a, don't stay in a church. Demolish them. Demolish the, the church. Yeah, sorry, that came out wrong. I just meant yeah. just don't do hotels in them. Yeah. Unless you're like a priest. Yeah, priest hotels. Save some traveling about. What? So if you're a priest, you're allowed to stay in here? Yeah, I mean, they're not, they're not realistic. They're not going to be going out doing like drinking and shagging. So just give them a hotel, staying. Let's go down my list of things. 
You, would you want to start? Well, with... I know. I want to start on the ones that I'm interested in now because then you've taken up a fucking hour. Have you slept with anyone you've interviewed? No. Apart from no. L Brooks? No. No. Okay. I, 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 and I haven't slept with L Brooks <laughs> either. You, you're really <laughs> trying to push this narrative. And my girlfriend, who has, who has met you. I love your girlfriend. Yeah. I mean, she no, might I not do. love but you after this. She knows this is a joke. Let's make I'll sure that's in it. the podcast then. <laughs> Cut. No, Jane. <laughs> um, okay. Porn stars, your favorite one. <laughs> I've always said amateur porn is far superior. I agree. Day. Yeah. Less. Yeah. Less. What about, um, how did you feel that everyone was, um, cancel, trying to cancel you guys about the disabled man with piss all over himself that you didn't give money to? It was, it was interesting. I, I <laughs> no, it, so. Well, you told me the story and I was like, oh, they never do, tell do, that. No, no, no. Did. Do you know, do you know what? It got turned into a TikTok clip, but the TikTok clip yeah. missed a, quite a bit of context here. Uh, is the fact that he very he didn't just come up and say, "Hey, could I get my money?" Because if that was the case, I'd have handed him his yeah. money. He came up <laughs> very aggressively about an hour later. Once I was absolutely battered and completely forgot about it, he comes up very aggressively, pulls me down in right. his it, like by the collar. <laughs> right, he's in yeah. a wheelchair, and I, and I'm just there like, what is going on? Right. And yeah, he fell back. So wait, so I'm you, you're him. How did he approach? Yeah, probably see, it's been really good working with you. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, it's been working with you. Um, we've had, fucking how far is he traveling? He came from the other side of the pool okay, table. Really he had short arms. With you. Um, right. Um, oh, hello, you're right. Where's my $50? Sorry, and you pushed him over for that. No, no, no. And then you go, or okay, me, yeah. and then you go, sorry, mate, sorry, what did mate, you say? What did you say? And you've bent, you've lent that. I've grabbed you by here. Whoa. I've dragged you close, yeah. right? And probably see a fella's producer walks over and goes, whoa, what's going on here? Hold up, but this guy's got me so close to <laughs> Right? Sorry, He's now yeah. got a lot of weight leaning on him. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm now leaning on him, not out, not out of choice. Yeah. And at this point, probably he go, whoa, like this. It just took a little tap. <laughs> Geezer fell backwards, piss bag all over him. But like, there was just a better way. If he had just come up and said, hey mate, remember that bet we made? Yeah. It was $50. And, and you get it. And I would have gone, I'm, he, he, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, it, it was the way I was approached. But if you're going to cancel me over that, I would be so disappointed because there was just so much worse that, that has been said on the fellas. I'd just be, I'd be really sad to go down <laughs> because of that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, there's just, there's way better stuff you can get me for, so. Are you seeing anything else on here that you like? Um, I mean, I've spoken about killing a turkey many times. Yeah. Um, I don't know what happened, but did someone just end up cramping as they got to the bottom here? Because <laughs> no, the, the writing like, just gets cow, smaller and no, smaller. They were like cows here and I was like panicking. So I started just writing really quick. Yeah. Why? Oh, here you go. Why do I keep my girlfriend private? Mm. That's an interesting. Because are, are you private with Billy? Would you say? Clearly you like, fucking. I do Jack Will's ads with him. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, oh actually, yeah. He's Although in your I don't let him accept anyone on Instagram. So stop fucking trying. I see you all every day. Do you not think that if there was like a really attractive woman in that that requested to follow him, do you think he would he would hit accept? I keep an eye on his following, so no, really? yeah, no, seriously. I've heard some pretty in the social blade will actually tell you there's ways to like figure out a lot don't, to do with someone. Don't give that to me. Yeah. I will have to be locked up. Social blade, and then you click the Instagram one, you will type that in not, thing. Uh, delete you know your about Instagram this one. Or something. Yeah, you know. Will it delete your one. Instagram for like hacking or anything? No, no, no. It's a public, it's public info. Oh, right, you don't have to okay. like log in or anything. Oh, right. You just click Instagram, type in your username or, or whoever's username and it will tell you a lot more information than uh, I am maybe. after this. But I'm so ready for an argument. Fine. Yeah. Do you ever just wake up and just want to have an argument? Violence. With sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Or like sometimes it pisses me off. He's like the other day he was like, oh babe. Oh no, no. Wrong way around. I said, oh, I'm really hungry. And he, and I went, oh there's leftover Chinese downstairs. And he was like, do you want it? And I was like, no, it's fine. And then he got back in bed and I thought, what the fuck? Like, wouldn't you just go down and get me anyway? Like you should fucking know that I would want that. But I don't want to be like, yeah, I'd like the Chinese. I'd want him to know that I want the Chinese. So I don't want to look pushy and greedy. Yeah. Right. So instead you just came across as a ungrateful bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Versus being greedy. Yeah. 
Right. So why do you keep your girlfriend private then? So I keep my girlfriend <laughs> private because... Because... I feel like there is no, the only benefit right. there is to not keeping your girlfriend private or mm. your boyfriend or whoever is to capitalize on potential views and, you and know if they're cheating clout. You. Uh, I suppose. So if they're getting off of someone in a club, people are going to tell But you. that's the whole point. I am very much, uh, I... I will trust that person until there's no wow. reason to. But the moment I lose that trust, I'll just be like, okay, cool, it's done. Really? I won't even, there's no, not even a, a conversation to be had. Because the last thing, my, the worst thing in the world to me is being in a relationship paranoid. Yeah. And constantly having anxiety that I'm not, being okay, cheated so on. So I don't So I don't get anxiety care. at all when she goes on nights out? Never. Not one bit. At all? Not one bit. Because the moment that I feel that, I'd just be like, oh, I'm out. Shit. Because it, it, is, that, is, that, is that a fun way? Like, do you? No, but surely I, just I feel don't like think. everyone does. Because loads, like a lot of people, you know, a lot of people cheat nowadays. You get too drunk, whatever, like they'll, they'll cheat. Yeah. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what's mental, right? In my head, at least, right? This is what I, because I've thought, right, okay, what if I get cheated on? Right. Right. And so I've thought, and I genuinely think right. my brain is wired to the point, and, and, and people have told me like this is a, a very strange way of, do, but I genuinely think I would, uh, I would like show no emotion to me and just be like, look, I just wanna say, whatever you did, you did it for your own reasons. This is obviously over. So you can like, <laughs> you can like pack your shit and go and leave. But then afterwards, I think I, I just don't think I would have like a, you know, some people have like big, breakdowns yeah. or anything like that but with that being said i've never been in that position so maybe i would i think you would maybe i would the only good thing but in my head i think weight. She feels i mean i'm just to eat. could do with the opposite okay so maybe maybe Don't i would gain then. maybe i would gain weight yeah <laughs> yeah fine. stress eat yeah maybe but, you're a stress eater yeah um it's me all the time anyway yeah i just don't think it's not for uh I think keeping private and it's just so much less hassle. Yeah. You're there true. every morning, you wake up, you're checking his following list. Like, oh, is it not get a bit, uh, it's not a bit long. No. Because as soon as he does, then I'll know. I just feel it's like. It's true. It's unhealthy to be that is, way. Yeah. And his mum says he'd never cheat on me. Yeah. Well, if, if his mum said it, is his mum nice to get along yeah. with his parents? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see. No, I did all my yeah. life. I really got on with her. But yeah. I thought you were going to be like, say something sarcastic. No, no, no. I think it's important to get along with the other way. Oh. Yeah, what would you do if you didn't get on with your mum? No, no. With? With your girlfriend's her, mom. her parents? Uh, Break out of her. No, I think you, you'd have to stick it. You can't, you can't get rid of oh. it just because they're parents. I don't know, because right? imagine you get married and their parents are sat there like. That's that one time. There's so many excuses <laughs> you can come up with to avoid them. Yeah, true. You know, there'll be, there'll be times. Can use yeah, that now. Just always having COVID. Always have COVID. So long weird. COVID. It's just a stressful long time. COVID. Yeah, it's hell. COVID's making a comeback, man. Yeah, my mum's getting another jab. I thought, fucking hell, how many more are they to get? Yeah. How many more times can you put COVID in you before you just accept you got COVID? A GPS signal must be weak. See, <laughs> the 5G is a, strong. Got loads of hate on your video. Didn't no, like you didn't. That. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Well, did. People are always going to, always going to comment on things like that. Like that, that okay. is my audience. Okay, great. But, Good. I think they're also uh, an amazing audience to have because they'll also, they'll back your they corner. They back you. Yeah. Do you think I'd get backed? Absolutely. I think, I, well, I've seen in comments of other things when uh, people love this podcast, they die they for this podcast. I'd die for this podcast. Do you know what? Do, um, for the Snapchat, I've started watching my own Snapchat Saving Grace stories. Yeah. Because I thought maybe there's more money if I watch it as well. <laughs> One more You'd be right, there. actually. Is there? That is how it works. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I've, I've already filmed the pod. I've watched it. I'm sat there still going, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Well, there, so if anyone doesn't know, you have a Snapchat show, story Yeah, and the show. clickbait's well good on it. Really? Yeah. Do Sometimes do I'm like, fucking hell. And I'm like, oh, it's my podcast. Yeah. Well, I didn't even remember saying that. Wait, so you, are you, is your greasy face not on the thumbnail? Yeah, no, 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 no. Your oily Should face, sorry. Brilliant, cool. Um, it is the guests one. Oh, okay. Like this week's, it was Paige and Paige oh, was there like, that must have that must have done well on Snapchat. Actually. Surely, yeah. I just do think, you use Snapchat? Right, no, although apparently there's a lot of money to be made in using Snapchat stories. Well, just about like casually, do you use it like for your friends? Oh yeah, like group chats. See, this is what everyone says. I do not use Snapchat. Apparently, but it's a red flag if you do use Snapchat though. Like people are like, oh, it's like 
you should like if they use Snapchat, it's so embarrassing. But I like it. I think it's yeah, good I've heard loads of people, loads of people use it. I think a lot of people are maybe a bit like they don't want to say they use it, but they do use it. Fine, fine. It's like LinkedIn. I still use LinkedIn. Do you actually? Yeah, I was gonna post that I got my results. <laughs> then I was like, why am I posting it for? Yeah, like who? You, what, nobody's I, I'm going not open to hire to work. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They'll have one watch of this podcast and go, I don't think she suits that our company me. ethos. That worries me. If I ever need a job, say this goes tits up, the TikTok goes peak tong, um, and I have to get back on LinkedIn, they're going to take one look and be like, no. This is not, not aligning yeah. with our, our brand image. Do you think you'll ever go under and you'll be like, um, no one want to watch you anymore? That's why I own the fella studios. <laughs> yeah fair enough is because if that happens yeah you've got us i've got i've just got to crack the whip on Should you guys make some more investments there maybe yeah, have a few more who's your dream person to have in the podcast on the pod on my like, podcast oh, no no oh i have a podcast under the fellow studio oh oh who would i absolutely love i mean there's been a few people that we've just gone wow they would they would have such a good podcast i was one of them and that's it's fine I'm yeah and look now. how that's worked that's worked yeah. out pretty Thank well you, yeah. um why wouldn't you have like someone kind of unhinged on someone very unfilled like very uh, pretty much a lot of comedians you've got like kevin bridges kevin bridges yeah. on a podcast you watch kevin bridges no. he's like a, he's a scottish comedian oh maybe he's i hilarious. have them. yeah i feel like i don't know michael richards I don't know who these people he would, are. Uh, he's an ex-footballer, but Michael Phelps. great. You, you know Michael Phelps. <laughs> right, okay. Kim Jong-un. That would bang. Or Putin. Putin with a podcast would be so good. That would be so good. Would you have him on your show? Yeah. I'm not sure you should say yes to, to that. To be fair, I'd insult him and he'd be like, the next day we'd have no studio, it'd be rubble. I'd be like, shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, right let's fill my pot <laughs> right oh i don't then <laughs> you have to do it off park benches or something um yeah i don't uh, who, who's your dream have you do you have i mean like you said you had charity shop sue on yeah. who was like a big a big person you wanted to have on yeah. have you got anyone that you're like this this person needs to be on my pod maybe like do you know what would be a good one if we put you might to be i don't know if this is allowed in doing like an exposed you know like piers morgan does life stories like one with prince andrew on air imagine him under the halo i'd make yeah. him sweat yeah i mean he sweats or I he doesn't sweat he said would be, that was his yeah, thing exactly yeah. or it would be good to have someone like maybe to you know like would you would you ever oh w when is this going out is this going out after locked in Jordan, so right now we should actually quickly talk about this yeah right now you are in locked in i'm in the house right okay have you spoken about locked in in any of the other podcasts yet no. amazing right right so you're in there right now <laughs> yeah how do you think you're getting on awfully i think here's yeah. how i think it's gonna go down right um i'm gonna be i'm bigging it up now i'm like you know it would be fucking great and then i'm gonna go in cry constantly anxiety people on the outside aren't going to like me because i'm going to say something wrong because i always do and i can't go cut because it's a show i snore so my housemates are gonna hate me i'm trying to give up vaping while i'm in there as well you're not allowed to are you allowed to vape yeah you're allowed to after vape. like 10 p.m or something okay so i'm i'm gonna be a miserable bitch so i feel, feel like i'm gonna be really annoying like annoyed with the people i'm living with I don't think you are. I think you're going to be very, you're going to, you're going to be super energetic on there. Do you think? Yeah. I think right now, right. Like, you, let's say you're midway through at the time this comes out. Right. I, I, I think it's actually, in terms of winning, I think it's probably between three people. Me, Chip. And Billy the Goat. Yeah. People love Billy the Goat, don't yeah, they? I've yeah. Heard, I, I, when Chip told me he was on there, I went and looked at his stuff. It's pretty good. Yeah, I haven't looked at it yet. I followed yeah. him. I followed all of them. Okay, nice. To put so, my olive branch. Out. Yeah, that's a great way of doing I it, am actually. Nice. Yeah. Is there anyone in there that you're a bit like, eee? I don't know if I'll get on with Billy the Goat. Really? Yeah. I feel like he's very like high energy and it's a bit intimidating. Like like it's a bit much. Right. But then they could say the same about me. Do you think there'll be anyone in there that you clash heads with? Him. Him, maybe. But I'm not I'm not a confrontational person. Right. I don't like arguments unless I've had like a drink, but you're not allowed to drink in there. There's also gonna be well what? I don't know this isn't I don't know if this is the case, but usually in the previous season they bring someone in halfway through. Yeah, everyone's saying young Philly, but I don't think he'd do it. No. 
Either, De- no. I don't think he will. Because there's that girl he, in he there. He probably wouldn't turn up. Probably not. Or he would six hours late. Right. So, yeah, I, I'm not too sure it is going to be Philly. Who else do you reckon it could well, be? Well, people are saying Nella Rose, but I think these people are don't too big. So. I think yeah. they're too big. We need to aim like... I don't think they'll do anyone from TikTok. Well, I was hoping Moyo. That would absolutely... Yeah, I think, I think it could Moyo be... He would, would be, be great, great as well. One, yeah. He's got great energy. And I've met him a few times. Lovely bloke. Love him. Yeah. I think I'd hope it's Moyo because I get on with Moyo as well. Oh, wow. That would be cool. if it, Imagine you've like guessed it and it's yeah. right. And maybe I'll get a blue tick when I come out. Anyone, please just give me one. On what Instagram? Yeah, please. Yeah. It's, well, you, it wasn't your old account a blue tick? No. You just never had a blue never tick? Have it. you overtaken the amount of followers you had from yeah. the last account? Oh, thank God. I had 130k on there. And now you're up to? 230 something. Wow. You're flying. <laughs> yeah. Maybe locked in will... Yeah, although the locked in uh, pics did me dirty. I had the fattest pussy in it. Like it was Wait, so, I what? had to crop it. You know, my announcement thing. Right. I don't know if you saw it, but it was like an announcement picture and it was me like. Right. So embarrassing. And then I had to cut my purse because it was so big. Like the crevice of my pussy was so big. It was mortifying. I thought you could have blurred it. Surely. And now I'm thinking all the cameras everywhere. It's going to be me and my hunchback. Gut out. You, you can't airbrush yourself in there. Can't face tune shit. Usually yeah. I suck in my waist, but I'm just going to be a rectangle now on YouTube forever. That'll be all right though. Yeah. I think, well, that's the thing. Nobody can do it. Yeah. Not that I don't think guys, do guys face tune? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Smooth out shit. Do you reckon they like make themselves a bit yeah. like 100%. musclier? 100%. No. Yeah. Really? Do you know guys that do this? I mean, you, it's kind of obvious. Really? I suppose if you're a girl, then you have an eye for yeah, this you stuff, can don't tell. you? you can always tell. Oh, I couldn't imagine doing that. I, I, I could do with it, but I couldn't imagine doing but then it. Then you see them in real life and you're like, oh. Do you not think that's how guys feel about girls that do People it? People probably see me and think, fuck me. Who is that? Who the fuck is that man with long hair? And I'm like, no, I'm a woman. Right. Mm. Well, that's so good. that's good. Yeah. yeah no. At I'm, least I've got Chip in there with me. That's what I'm saying. Chip will be great. I'm I think really Chip will. Is. Chip's very charming. What? Can hell. I'm not going in there to shag him. Do you reckon you'll shag someone in there? No, I've got boyfriends. <laughs> I have a feeling that I feel like I can see Kate Elizabeth having a romance with someone. Oh, I wow. hope she is does. That, is that your is that your prediction <laughs> for the show? Here's my prediction. Right. Hit Kate, me. Hopefully, Kate Elizabeth gets under someone. Who? <sighs> Fucking hell. Uh, maybe, maybe the guy that talks like this. Max. Big fan of his work as well. I think it could be possibility. Possibilities there. Yeah. Um, I think there could be an argument of some sorts between I mean, w- a woman and a man. That's very vague. You, that's not fair. You're going to have to give us more details I don't know. I don't there. know. I'm hoping it's not me because I'll leave and cry. So yeah. I'll be like, okay, you still get paid job. your full, full way. Oh, if you leave. Yeah. Sorted. Uh, I'll be out by the time yeah. this gets out. Um, and what else? Maybe, maybe I, I will have cried four times. By the time I this is out, I'll have cried you four crying times. On, Thank on, you. on that show. No, I'd probably be in the store and like, and yeah. come back out fine. Wow. Because they're going to have, like, the, the way, like, it's similar to Love Island, the producers right. have to, f- not, not fabricate, but they have to really push for drama. Well, because they make you do challenges. This is what I'm scared at, right? For you, um, one of the seasons, they went to someone you've got to make sure someone loses all of their luxury items and very i think it was very v brown went fucking nuts or someone ate something of hers and she was like what the fuck if anyone did that to me i'd be like i'm so sorry i did it for a challenge i just stopped yeah. myself and i did it for a challenge and then you lose that challenge and i'd lose it and then everyone would hate me even more That's yeah. yeah wow yeah. I'm, I'm so excited to watch it i'll be in the maldives Oh, good for you. Yeah. I'll be in a fucking be, house. Yeah. I, just, I, I wanted you to know that I would be in the Maldives so that when you're in there and you're crying for your fourth time, yeah. just think. Oh, well, at least cows in the at Maldives. At least cows in the Maldives. Me. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe I'm thinking like a margarita on the, on the beach, okay, sunset. Fine. Yep. Laptop off to one side. Yep. And I'm sharing a bathroom with 10 people while you're doing that. Yeah. Cool. Do, do when, when you have a shit... <laughs> I don't poo. When you have a shit, is it like fucking hell, Grace has just had a shit? Or do you have your way of... Because when you're sharing in an environment like this, mm. it's important mm. that it's on the That's low. That's a shout. I might... Um, oh, maybe I'll buy some poo What's that? 
Uh, you spray it in the spray. toilet before you poo. Flush. It smells like lavenders. Or usually what I do is I put some toilet paper down, do a little... And then flush quickly. Why toilet paper down? So you can't hear anything. Can't hear the splash. An acoustic genius. Yeah, and then I'll wipe, wait for the toilet to finish whatever it does, and then I'll flush again. So two flushes. See, if I heard two flushes... You'd know I've done shit. I, well, no, I, well, not only that, but I'm also thinking, she's had two goes at that. <laughs> like that, something's crawled out of her <laughs> arse there. Do you know well, I mean? now just, I have no plan. What the fuck? Well, no, you just, it's just, it, you can just, you just got to get it done in one. Okay, fine. One flush. Fine. I, that, that would be my pro right, fine. I'm going to buy some poo-pourri after this, I think, before I go home. Yeah. Get myself are you allowed to bring in any essentials or anything? Like, what, what are you allowed to bring in? It? You're allowed to bring in do-rags, shampoo, Do which doesn't apply to rag? me. No, no, not at all. I bet they don't have the that on the Love though. Island list. This is how you know it's... It's diverse. It's good. It's inclusive. Absolutely. I don't think. Well, I don't That's see that. why they shouldn't have one of those. Thank you. I agree. Um, like shampoos, but no. It specifically said no drugs. So I thought, fuck. Well, no chip, chip screws. Yeah. <laughs> He'll sneak some in. Alcohol and technology. Because I was like, oh, maybe I can bring my switch. I can't. No. Can you access like Twitter and things from your switch? No. Probably right. Yeah. Don't know. Maybe. Do you think if I said I need to know something, they'd let me look? I think it would depend on what you said you needed to know. Like you say, okay, my mo got, my mom's got terminal cancer, and yeah. she told me I've got that she had like three months to live. Mm. Can I get like a, just an update, like a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I think they'd probably give you that. If I got a blue tick, could my manager call in and be like, "Can you just let her know she's got the?" Tick? No, I don't think I don't really? think they do that. Yeah, fuck. But could you imagine if for one of the challenges, one of the rewards was you get a blue tick? I what would, would you do I for would that? I would kill everyone. Do you know what? I'd even... Look, I'm scared of sick. I'll, I'd eat someone sick for that. And that's my biggest fear ever. I would, so foot salad, now that, that you're watching no, this, no. I will admit... I'm out of the eating challenges to put it in my contract. Are you actually? Yeah, I said I am not doing But because of throwing up? Yeah, I'm not doing it. They always that, throw up. They I'm always a, do I'm it. A, I'm a or whatever. beautiful, yeah. Spot on. What, what is it? Emetophobia. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not dealing with it. No way. No way. So what if, if so if I were to pretend to throw up right now that like triggers it? Well, no, because I know you're not being sick. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's some people that just buy the, even the like the fake sound. Yeah. Oh my god, like people gag, don't they? Yeah. Not, don't they? I'm not a gagger, really. Is that why? Referring back to Billy. Yeah. I can. Yeah. Some people can't give head to have a metaphobia. Well, that's what I'm saying. And I'm praying for their boyfriends because they might cheat. They might. Yeah. I never thought. Can't of even that, do it actually. on birthdays or Christmas. Yeah, or National Blowjob Day. Or National... What or Steak that? and Blowjob Day. Oh, okay. Oh, I love a steak. Yeah. I don't really love blowjob, but we can settle. That's it's right. medium rare. Anyway. Thank you for coming on my no, podcast. No, one last oh. thing. Tiny thing. Got to do it quick, though. If you had Henny... Henny? Henny? If you had Henny. If you had any life advice for me, what would it be? I'll sip my beer while you think. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. I think, I, I think I've, oh, I've so said rude. it. I've said it already. Okay. Don't go through your boyfriend's phone. <sighs> yeah, fair play. That, that would be, honestly, that would be mine. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. You've been watching Saving Grace. Um, thanks for coming on. Buy tickets for the tour because... Oh, shit. Yeah, buy tickets for the tour. Because it's definitely not sold out. Yeah, it's probably not sold out. I'm and if it has out. sold out... Yeah. Just know it was probably Grace's mum and dad that bought, bought all the tickets. Yeah, they've filled all the seats. Anyway, if you've been watching give it a like and subscribe and if you've been listening give it a five star review and a follow i think good at this bye